Hi, Craig here. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different, put down the drumsticks and um, talk a little bit about open tuning. Okay, now um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about open tuning and um, if you want to learn how to tune your guitar uh, uh, to an open uh, tuning format, you can watch those videos. Particularly the one that I'm using is open D. Okay, so that means when I strum my guitar without my hand on the fretboard, I get a D major chord. Now, there's other ways of tuning it, but this is the way I do it. Um, now, a lot of people use open tuning for playing blues and for slide guitar and things like that, because really all you're getting when you're playing open tuning is you're getting, um, you're getting major chords. So if you play an open chord like this, or if you play a chord up here by barring uh, across the fret, No matter where you go, you're getting a major chord. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where. And that's kind of limiting as far as what kind of music you're going to be able to play. So the question is, how do you do minor chords with open D tuning? Well, I haven't seen very many people, if any, do this on the internet, so I thought I would address this issue. Now, I learned how to play minor chords with open D tuning by watching a video, um, happens to be the Bee Gees um, One Night Only Tour concert that was on TV. And I was watching Barry Gibb how he plays his guitar and he actually does use, use an open D tuning uh, format. Um, and he, I watched how he plays his minor chords and learned how to do this from him. Now the whole concept of, an, of a minor chord in this format is you need to tune this string, the third string, you need to tune it down one semitone, okay, or you need to, to have it down one, one semitone. Now, no matter what you play, you're getting minor chords everywhere, and it's no better than getting major chords. So, I'll show you how to do it. Let's tune it back up. Okay. First of all, let's look at the open D chord. Okay. Take my finger and just put it on the octave for a second, okay? So, on the third string. So, I've still got a D major chord. But if I move my finger back one fret, like that, now I got a D minor. Okay? So D major, D minor. It's this one note that gives you the, the minor chord. Now, um, you can't obviously do that everywhere else on the fretboard. You know, you're going to have to find a different way to do it. So here's how. You take a G chord. Now I gotta make a G minor. So what I need to do is I'm gonna put my baby finger on the first string. I'm gonna put my next finger on the second string. Okay. I'm gonna put my pointing finger on the third string, one fret back, like we said. Okay. And then my other finger, what's left, is gonna go on the fourth string on the on the same fret with all the other two. Okay. So now we're gonna play, only gonna play these four strings. Just those four. Okay. So that's a G minor. So G major, G minor. Now, to me that sounds a little thin. Okay, it is a G minor chord. Okay, but it doesn't have the lower notes involved in it. So here's where I invented something. And in fact, I've never seen anybody else do this, so I'm pretty sure I came up with it, but I could be wrong. What I do is I take this finger and I move it up one string like that, okay? Now what that does is first of all it deadens this string, okay? So when you strum you're not going to hear that string at all. And it gives you this string. So now I have, okay, alright? But we still have this string left to do, okay? We still have this string left, alright? So what are we going to do with that? Well look at this. See that? It's your thumb. Bring your thumb around, put it on the first string, and you've got a full sounding minor G chord. Now this position is very strange, I know, and uh, it took me a long time to, uh, to, to get to be able to do it fluently. But you know what, I'm not really a guitar player, and if I can do it, anybody can do it.
Okay, so that now you've got your major chord, G major, and a G minor. Now you've opened it up to being able to do play almost any you know any song that has major and minor chords in it. Okay, so for example, um, see now because you can do that across the whole fretboard. Major, minor. Okay, so now you can play, you don't have to be stuck just playing blues and slide guitar, now you can play all kinds of stuff. Um, in fact, here's one that, you know, I, I like to play sometimes, uh, one of my favorite songs from way back. I just played part of Country Roads, and you can do a lot more with that kind of uh, with doing the minor chords that way. It takes a lot of practice, but you can do it. Uh, next time, I might talk a little bit more about some different other chords that you can do with open detuning. But in the meantime, practice your minor chord and uh, have fun. Thanks for watching. See you later. I almost forgot. I need to thank my son David for helping me film this video. Thanks, buddy. You did a good job. <laughs> See you later.